it's that's lit with me shazzy d from home thank you so much for joining me once again for another fabulous show and today joining me from home too is joe k amerson who is the founder of nourished hands joe k welcome to the show hi thank you for having me it is so good to have you on the show look let us get straight into it nourished hands for those who may not know what it is, can you tell yeah. us what it's all about? Well, Nourish Chans is my brainchild and it's a lifestyle brand um, all about nail treatment. So it's not polish because we do a four-in-one nail treatment that has your base coat, top coat, the color, and also the differentiating factor of added vitamin E oil and argan oil to nourish your hands. Um, yeah, I guess it was based on my observation around my lifestyle and my friend's lifestyle. We're all busy women. There's so many things that we're all involved in and it's still a very important part of my um, self-care routine to look after my nails. So it's like, how can I make this process quicker so that I'm not having to invest hours on end um, to achieve the kind of look I want for my nails um, or other self-care um, activities that I take, take part into. Wonderful. So yeah, that's a really good key point because it's not just, you know, nail polish, it's the whole gamut. It's all about nail care. And one thing that stuck out to me um, that we mentioned before doing this was um, the idea of self-care. Um, can you talk about why that's so important and how, you know, doing nail treatments, you know, fits into that? Yeah, I think, like, as I said earlier, like, life is so busy these days. Um, and it's so important to just take that moment for yourself to do whatever you want to do. Um, and for a lot of women, it's beauty. It's like looking after um, yourself and your appearance. Um, but it could also be like all the other things we know about like resting eating well um, but yeah it's the whole total um, gamut it's a whole wellness plan rather than just the one part of it but I guess for me um, the nails was something that I always partook in like I always watch my mom do her nails on a Sunday because she was like a school teacher um, and so that's something that's familiar to me and it was something that was easy enough that you didn't need as much investment into I guess also coming from um, you know an immigrant background where you can't do all, everything you kind of just have to choose one and so um, the nails is something that was like an easy accessible um, way to self-care and you can change the colors if you need to um, and that's how you kind of get joy in that rather than having all the different products um, in your know, skincare, beauty care, hair care with nails. Um, it's a relatively easy investment um, to kind of give you that pep up and feel good and that time to stop because you do need to stop, take time, take care to do your nails if you want to look or if you want it to look really nice um, and then you have to wait till it dries. So, you know, he's, historically that's um you know that hour that you have in your day or your week to actually look after yourself so yeah this is kind of what it means to me to be able to like stop um and enjoy that moment and give back to myself um through nail polish i love that and i love kind of going back to your own experience watching your mom put in a nail polish um is that yeah. how it all kind of started where did you know the idea first begin for you for the nourished hands the idea kind of began for me when I was in the UK so I lived in the UK for a few years um, and when you move over there obviously from Australia your routines change um, and I found like I had a lot of time because I didn't have my support network I didn't have my family and so one thing I kept up was going to the nail salon and doing my nails because you know that's when it's grey and cold and freezing, that's one thing that you can kind of um, look forward to during the week. So I kept up that practice, which is fun and engaging with um, the nail salon. And then um, one of my friends actually introduced me to a non-toxic version. Um, and I think in that period of my life, I was looking for healthy, um, wholesome products. Like I grew up with a lot of like organic things, but then when you... Um, 
I guess, become a lot more affluent or you just have stuff marketed at you. You try a lot of things and they're not necessarily that good for you. Um, and I think for me, it was important to kind of just look after myself in that way and um, reduce the amount of chemicals I ingested and also put in my body um, and also looking after the environment um, and making sure that we leave it in, um, in a better state. And so she introduced me to non-toxic nail polish. And um, yeah, I think that was the beginnings of looking at other products that performed better because just because they have the chemicals removed, a lot of time they don't function as well. Um, and then it kind of just got me thinking about, okay, like how do I make this easier <laughs> so that it's not having to have all the access because you still needed to use your base coat and top coat and a lot of time they still have the chemicals in it. And so I was like thinking about how I can make that process easier um, and still better for me and better for the environment. And I think that's kind of where the idea sparked. Um, and it wasn't until I came back to Sydney um, and I'm a marketer by background as well. So that kind of was like, oh, I can, I can do this. I can make my own and see where that goes. Um, but also I'm quite impatient. So I was like, I don't see myself making nail polish on the weekend. So this is something that we can, um, you know, do as a brand and find um, a partner to help us collaborate with that. So I kind of was experimenting with formulas. So I just got my own base, um, you know, made the kit and then, yeah, worked with a few collaborators to make it happen. So, yeah, it was good that it, we can do it that way. Otherwise, I'd be forever making batches <laughs> and trying to um, trying to make them, but which is fine as well, but I'm still packing packages. But, yeah, this is a more streamlined way of doing it. But, yeah. yeah amazing so it took you all this time you finally have you know your business all set up looking back you know to the early days and to you know where you are now what do you think has been the best part you know of starting this business I think for me I love the product development part so getting in and like having as I said having all the bases and putting all the colors together and formulating and testing it. Um, Cause I did a lot of research um, cause also I have a food science background. So within that is a lot of like product development and you're doing a lot of testing back and forth and fine tuning your recipe in that sense. So for me, that was that. like, <laughs> like yeah, that's that's and then it's like, you can kind of also adapt it to nail polish. Exactly. It's all the same principles, no matter what industry you're in. Yeah. Um, so I like, that was where I felt comfortable with. And, um, yeah, hearing back from, like I sent out a survey initially and I got like 100 responses back and hearing what came out for women was around the durability, long lasting and just it needs to be easy. And so having that in the back of your mind when you're developing was quite fun because it was like you have to check every list and then sending it out to a few testers um, and getting them to feedback as well was like exciting because after you spent it all in, you know, made it up all in your head where you have a physical product to actually test and then hearing, waiting to hear back from what people think about it. Um, it's quite nerve wracking, but also exciting. Like I love that part because it's kind of like when you're feeding someone and you kind of watch them eat and you're just waiting for them waiting like to eyes to pop up or to be like, actually, this is really good. And you're like, what? That's amazing. So that's probably the funnest part um for me um and then i had my brand launch a couple of weeks ago and just seeing like the support of friends and family like it just blew me away i just felt um really amazing and just um supported by it all because i think when you're working as a you know sole business person it's your way most of the time and it's all in your head and you are you know and um, checking in with other people but it's you and so to see like other people engaging with the product and um, loving the brand um, has been really, really good. So someone heads on over to your website because you've got a website where everyone can go and check out, you know, the nail treatments. They're going to have yeah. a scroll and yeah. hey, look, I was, uh, disclaimer, I was at the brand launch. It was lovely. It was wonderful. Um, I ended up getting some. Okay. So I got, <laughs> this one. So I got Amanda. Okay. Yes. For anyone yep. see, this is like pink. Um, so if someone goes on and is like, okay, they all have, um, people's names, um, written on them. Can you explain, um, why? Yeah. Okay. So like the, like when I was doing my research and looking at all the brands and companies that have done well in 
this space. Um, I think OPI stood out to me particularly. And when you see their brand, it is quite fun. It's engaging and it's relevant and it's, you have an emotional connection with it. And it's kind of like the process they take you through. It's like, oh, what colour am I going to get today? And what scenario have they kind of... Um, thought about that is relevant to my life and so it just becomes more than just you painting your nails and going through the motions like it becomes um, a full experience and I think I was thinking of a different way to engage in that as well without actually just copying the same thing because having to come up with different names will be quite challenging especially when your um, collection grows um, and so a way I thought about it was kind of giving um, kudos and homage to the testers for like all my friends and contacts that tested for me. So they spent a lot of time researching and I had a lot of questions going back and forth to them and just, you know, trying to fine tune it because that's what you need to do. Like I love um, having an experience that is well thought through. And so kind of like a surprise to them as well so they're named after the people that tested for me and that was the color that they tested as well so that's kind of like I was like that's a really cool way to start a collection um and have people's names I love that that is so adorable yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and some of them were on there that night and they didn't know so they were like what is this is this like my personalized bottle I was like no no but it is like the one that you tested so that was a cool surprise like yeah uh, I was not expecting that they would your... also have that reaction yeah your community who supported you yeah. were also yeah. like oh I love it I love it you know you've launched during unfortunately COVID yeah was it difficult was there anything that was a major challenge or did you find you kind of had the space or, or the time to you know think about it a little bit more um i think COVID probably wasn't a factor because the original idea was going to be like an e-commerce business anyway so the fact that the pandemic happened and people were shopping online just made it a bonus I think the challenging thing for me was I had a launch date in mind that I wanted to hit. And so I had a lot of prototypes, but I actually didn't have a finished product up until like a couple of weeks before. So that was quite stressful um, to be like, I promised this brand <laughs> um, and I'm a sole person and I don't have kind of anything to show for it. Um, but I had really good mentors kind of supporting me and looking for different plans and contingencies to make sure that the brand could still launch even if I didn't have a product. So I think it's really important to also just have contingency plans in place um, because, yeah, it's not the be all and end all. And um, I think you can just look at different ways of um, marketing your business until you have a brand. So yeah, it was a bit stressful and I think uh, we pulled through, <laughs> still pulling through. Um, but also I think the another hard part was I have a full-time job. And so it was more managing the time um, between the two responsibilities. Um, obviously one's a passion and one's like a paid role. So um, making sure that I wasn't kind of, taking away from my paid role in that sense um which yeah i think is the challenging part to manage because obviously like i'm one person when i get home i'm tired and so how do i balance that as well and make sure that i also include some downtime in there so yeah yeah i think that's probably the most challenging part trying to balance it all too well, it's been such a lovely chat, Joe Kay. I yeah. will ask one final, final question. What do you want people to get out of having this nail treatment? Um, I think for me, it's all about bringing joy. I feel like I experience joy when I do my own nails or when someone else does it for me. So it's like I take the bottle that I want to the salon and they do it for me. But it's like the whole experience. Um, that's the biggest thing. It's like in that moment of enjoyment, that moment of just taking time for yourself because life is so busy and everyone's always pulling at, at you. And, and so if you can just do that one little thing to bring a smile to your face or even to inspire other people because they'll see it and they'll be like, oh my goodness, that looks amazing on you. Um, and if they don't like have the time to do all the gamut of things we see on social media, like that's one little way that we can look after ourselves. So if I can just, 
you know, bring that moment of joy and um, kind of excitement to someone, I think we've achieved our mission. Beautiful. Oh, again, such a lovely chat with you, Joe Kay. Um, where can we find you? Where can we find Nourish Hands? So we are on Facebook and Instagram at Nourish underscore Hands. And our website is the Nourish Hands Company dot com dot au. But all the links to the website and is through the social media handle. Beautiful. Joe Kay, thank you again for joining me today. It's been lovely having you on the show. Thank you so much for having me. It was amazing.